Using what you found to find more. Having a hard time finding much on your topic. Not finding enough resources that you could use in your research. The items you've already found might provide just what you need to find additional books, articles, and other information on your topic. You just need to know where to look. Say you found a good book on your topic. In this case, The Limits of Humanitarian Intervention by Alan Cooperman. Many books contain bibliographies, notes, or a list of works cited that will point you to resources that the author used when researching the book. If the book is relevant, chances are some of the resources in those lists will be as well. To find more about this out relevant book, type a few words from the title, Limits, Humanitarian, Rwanda, Genocide, and the author's name, Cooperman, into the library search box and press Enter. Hopefully the library record for the book will be on the first page of the library results list. And so it is. When you did your initial search, maybe you didn't find as much as you needed. But did you use subject headings? Subject headings are assigned by librarians and help organize resources on the same topic into groups. Some resources have been assigned multiple subjects that might be relevant to your research. Click on one to find other resources that were cataloged using the same subject heading. You'll find a somewhat different collection of books with each subject heading you click on. All of these may be quite useful in your search. Articles also contain bibliographies, and the sources the author cites are likely to be pretty relevant to your topic. You can also search for your article in Google Scholar to see who else may have cited it. Remember to always access Google Scholar from the link on the library website found under the Research Tools and Collections tab. You can usually find your article by typing in the beginning of the title into the search box. And now that you've found the article, select the Cited By icon to see other articles and resources that have cited it. Depending on the age of the article, many other scholars may have used it in their own research. And Google Scholar will display links to these resources, many of which may be related to your topic. You can also use Google Scholar to see what else the author of the original article has written that may be relevant to your research. Type in the author's name into the Google Scholar search box and press Enter to see if they have other works on your topic. If they have written more articles that seem relevant, select either the direct PDF or HTML link or the Find It at PSU link to get access to the resource. The Find It at PSU link returns to the library catalog and shows the different access points for the full text of the article. All of these techniques combined should certainly help you find more resources on your topic. If you're still stumped, just ask a librarian.